All right, so that took way longer than I thought it would. The paint was really thick, and there was a lot of rust hiding underneath that loud truck. One second. I filmed this like eight times already. <laughs> What's up guys? My name is Caleb. This is our $2,000 C10 build and we're finishing it up today. This is going to be the last video of this build, which is kind of sad, but I've got a new one coming, like the next budget build episode, and it is going to be really awesome. I already got parts coming in for it. You guys are going to be stoked about it. Before we can sell this thing, well, the quarantine has to end, but other than that, I need to get this bed sorted. You can see it has a lot of bad rust and stuff. I thought about just polishing it out and it just being what it was. But this truck turned out so nice, it, I just couldn't leave this rust. So I want to address this before I sell it to someone. But another thing that we need to work on is this bumper behind me. You can see it's got this drop down built into it. And that made sense when the truck was at its regular height. Now it basically drags on the ground. So I'm going to cut that off, move it up, and section it back into the bumper really quick. We'll do that, and then we'll take the truck back to my house and start working on this tailgate. Let's do it. So I don't want anyone to tow with this thing. I, I'm about to piece this thing together. It's not going to be a solid piece of steel. It might look like it's a solid piece once I'm done, but it won't be. And I don't want someone to accidentally tow with it and it break. It's unlikely, but I'm new to welding and I just don't want that kind of pressure. you know. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and flip it. And then I will uh, I'll tack this in. I'm going to use one of these plates to cover up the hole that's going to be there now. and. Uh, and then we'll weld it up and grind it down and make it look decent. So I was going to try to weld these gaps just for fun to see if I could do it. And it's just going to take way too much time and then they'll still only look decent. Now, I thought about getting some more tubing and making a bumper, but I kind of hate the way the bumper looks anyway. So we're just going to pull it off. All right, so with the bumper out of the way, there's a decent amount of like, what well, looks like Bondo here, and there's definitely rust forming underneath it. So I don't know why there's so much Bondo here. Looks like maybe there's a dent here, maybe another one over here. I'm not sure, but we're gonna find out. We're gonna go ahead and knock this off, and we'll go down and get all this rust off too, I think. And I think I'm definitely gonna end up repainting this. So let's get the Bondo off first. Ugh. See what we're dealing with. So yeah, that's what happened. So there was a dent right here, and they just went over it with Bondo, I'm guessing several times to get it flat, and then after rust started to set in, the Bondo pulled away and flaked off. So I don't know what we're gonna do with this. We're gonna clean all the rust off, obviously. Around here, the Bondo is more reasonable. <laughs> All 
right, so that took a lot longer than expected. The paint was really thick, and there was a lot of rust hiding underneath it. I expect there were some little rust spots that were painted over, and they just continued to spread underneath the paint, especially where the Bondo was. If rust is underneath Bondo, as time goes on, it'll push the Bondo off the car, which I think is what happened here. So I ground all those down, got it all to bare metal, and then the places that were still a little bit pitted looked like they might still have some rust in them, but I didn't want to grind anymore. Uh, I put some rust or reformer on there. That's the black paint that you saw me spray. And then the green primer is a self-etching primer that you put on top of bare metal. So that's drying off now. I'm going to prime the rest of the bed in that. And then we're going to use a filler primer on top of all of it. I'm not going to use any Bondo if I can help it. I don't mind there being little dings and dents and stuff because it'll match the rest of the truck. And that's what I'm going for. I don't want this to look brand new. I want it to look as good as the rest of the truck, which has some dents and scratches and things like that. So if it's not too wavy or weird, we'll do that. If we do need to fill some spots, we'll fill them. Uh, but I'm really hoping the filler primer will kind of flatten everything out to an extent and make this thing look as good as the rest of the truck and really match the whole design of the rest of the truck. So we're going to try to get this thing in primer. We have some tornadoes that are supposed to come tonight. We're under like a tornado watch or warning or something like that. Uh, that's basically the natural disaster that we have to deal with in Alabama. You've got like wildfires out west, hurricanes uh, on the coast. We get tornadoes now we're close to the mountains so normally it misses us i don't know how that works but it's a thing um, but we are under a warning tonight so i don't know if we ought to get this video out tuesday because of that if you're watching this on thursday it's because the storms got bad but i'm going to keep working on this thing until the storm really picks up try to at least get it in primer before the the storm comes through all right let's do it So as you can tell, this thing smokes a lot. One second. For those of you who are new to the channel, uh, this is my budget paint booth that I built. Uh, I haven't done a video on it, but we'll do one fairly soon, I think. And uh, we're going to paint the truck in here. Now you could do this with some plastic wrap as well. I've done that before. I've got a video. I'll throw it up here uh, on how to build a paint booth in your garage. Um, but this is what I've done because I painted I was painting so much I needed a space to do it. All right. This thing smokes like crazy, and I assume it may be a blown head gasket. Um, the coolant was basically empty when I got the truck, and I just put a whole bunch of coolant in it, or well, I put water in it just to see what was going on, and it started smoking even worse. So that makes me think coolant's leaking into the cylinder somewhere. I'm not really sure. Either way, whenever I get done with this portion of the build, uh, I'm going to take it to a buddy of mine who's a mechanic. He's got a shop, and he does a lot of work on these old uh, carbureted V8s. I'm going to let him go through it and just fix it. I'm just going to say fix whatever's got to be fixed, make this thing right. Because I am going to sell this truck, and I want it to be right when it gets sold. It's got the built name on it, so it needs to be good. So anyway, I don't know much about all that. He's going to handle that for me, and it'll run great. It'll stop smoking, I'm sure. But for now, it's just going to smoke like crazy. Um, we are going to dry this off, degrease it, and get it in primer. And then because we're spraying a thick coat of primer, it really needs to dry for like six hours. So I'm going to let it dry overnight, and then I'll get up sand it and paint it tomorrow. Let's do it. The storm's coming. On the inside of the bed, I've gone back and forth on this a lot, but on the inside of the bed, I'm going to use flat black spray paint. And here's why. I've got to use this truck to haul some stuff. And I thought about putting a fresh coat of base coat clear coat on it, uh, but then I'm gonna have to literally tomorrow, uh, probably like two days from now, I'm gonna throw a bunch of stuff in the back and I thought, you know, whoever gets this truck, if they do want to use it, they're going to have a hard time actually putting stuff in the bed if it's painted and clear-coated and stuff. So, I'm just going to spray paint it, I think. Or I may just leave it. I don't know. We'll see. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but the siren just started going off. So I don't know if you can hear that, but we have these like tornado sirens. I don't know if everybody has this, but they test them every Tuesday. And it's not Tuesday, which means <laughs> there's a tornado. I guess if we have a tornado on Tuesday, we're out of luck.
All right, we're done for tonight. These clouds are moving super fast. The thunder's picking up, and the sirens stop. So I'm going to go inside, and we're going to shelter, uh, get out from under all this stuff, out of my homemade shop. Anyway, I'll see you guys tomorrow. It's supposed to be really sunny, so I hope that'll work. The good thing is it's going to take six set. Whoop. The good thing is it's going to take six to eight hours for that primer to cure, for me to be able to sand it and smooth it out, so it's all working out. to fix my gun it was spraying really sporadically I don't know if you could see it on camera but it was kind of like spitting out paint it was just dirty it had some stuff in it from the last time I painted I just didn't get it cleaned out all the way so took it down cleaned everything and then resprayed two more coats of black and they went out way better so I cleaned it out again and we're ready to spray clear now I don't take my camera in when I spray clear basically ever because uh, this stuff's really sticky the overspray gets on everything I don't want to get on the camera and the lens and ruin it so I'm gonna go spray this and then I will cut to the finished product now. So I went and picked up some satin black spray paint for the bed. I was gonna do it with the two stage, like actual car paint, but I have to use this thing while I own it and I know the next owner probably is gonna want to as well. And that paint will just scratch up and look awful and it'll be hard to fix. This will be really easy to fix. If it scratches, you just spray more spray paint on it and all is well. So that's what I decided to do. We're gonna hit the bed with this just to get it all black again. I think it's gonna look better, we'll see. better uh, it could probably use another can of spray paint but it looks all right it's a super thin layer so if someone does decide to paint this it'll be easy to sand off and respray with like actual car paint for now I'm happy with it check out this tailgate it came out pretty good it's got some orange peel but not that much so I did a pretty good job uh, but it does have a little bit so I may sand that down and polish it we'll just see how it looks with the rest of the uh, of the truck but overall I think it came out great oh I got to show you one more thing so I removed my coolant reservoir if you guys watched the engine bay video where we installed all this cool stuff I used a bottle for my coolant reservoir and got a few messages about it it was basically a little bit too high so coolant was actually draining into it but not very easily so I moved it down here and basically I just wanted to get the top of the bottle lower than the coolant top up here. I also added this little drain. So basically if this fills up to about right here, it'll start draining out of this tube and that goes out and dumps out at the bottom of the car. Just in case we do ever have an actual overflow, uh, that will take care of that. Now, as far as selling it goes, a lot of you guys have been asking me about how I'm gonna sell it and when. I'm gonna post an eBay listing as soon as I can get a title for it. Title offices are closed right now. I heard the other day you can get them online, so I'm gonna try to work that out. But as soon as I get the title for it in my name, and uh, I get it all sorted and registered in my name, then I'll be able to sell it on eBay. All right, I think we're finally ready. We're finally ready to take a drive. Let's do it.
All right, that's it. This thing is done, and I am in love with this truck. Now, it does have some mechanical issue. I'm not really sure what it is, but it's burning oil. I thought that it was cooling at first, but I checked all of that for a blown head gasket. I checked everything you're supposed to check, and it's definitely not a blown head gasket. I looked at the smoke in the videos, and it looks pretty blue, which means that there's oil burning somewhere. I'm going to run this to my mechanic and get him to check that out. I want to make sure this thing is great before I actually sell it. But what we have here is a very cool 1985 C10 that we built for just over $2,000. So we'll go over really quick what we did in the past couple of weeks. They're 22 by I think 9.5s front and rear, 285, 45, 22 tires. After we got the wheels and tires on, we turned our attention to the interior. We took 100 bucks and made the interior look as good as we possibly could for that amount of money and I think it came out pretty great but then the stance was all wrong this thing rode like a monster truck so we dropped it five inches in the rear maybe six and three inches up front and it really does drive awesome we finished it off by cleaning up the engine bay we added an intake a carburetor a new air filter we changed our coolant tank design and we cleaned everything off as well as touched up a lot of stuff with paint and the end result Honestly, it's a really beautiful truck. I've already gotten a lot of compliments on this thing, and I do enjoy, I really love driving this thing. So, what's next? Well, this thing's off to the mechanic. I'm going to daily drive it until the title work gets sorted right now because of all the quarantine stuff. I'm not able to get a title for it. As soon as I get a title, I'm going to list it on eBay, and we'll just do an eBay auction. I'll keep you guys posted on that here on the channel. So, what that means is we have another build coming another budget build I really enjoyed the way that this budget build went it was really fun to do it seems like you guys enjoyed it a lot as well so we've got another budget build coming it's a three thousand dollar budget build this time and it is gonna be sick we'll start that next week I also have another project a big project that I've been working on for a really really long time and I'm about ready to show it to you guys it's gonna be awesome so if you're not a subscriber yet consider subscribing we're gonna do more of these budget builds I've literally got one like at my house now and I've got a just a huge amount of parts for it already. Very excited to do it. It's gonna be really fun. I think it's gonna be really exciting to watch. If you're in a fabrication, Chase does a fabrication show on Sunday right now. He's by himself because of all the quarantine stuff. We're building an LS powered Dodson. It's got a full roll cage. The cab flips up. Now the front flips up. It's really, really crazy. So make sure you check back Sunday for that. And uh, we will be posting the new budget build and my secret awesome super exciting build for me anyway uh next week as well so consider subscribing if you're already subscribed thank you so much thank you for watching to the end of this video if you made it to the end the secret word can be this is a very built secret word but the secret word will be fender flares fender flares are the secret is fender fender flares is the secret word Fender Flares is the secret word. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are awesome. If you haven't noticed yet, we have this join button. It's a 99 cent membership. It helps us predict our income so that we can do more builds like this and produce more consistent content. So consider joining if you want to support the channel financially. That's the best way to do it. It's a 99 cent commitment, so it's not huge, and it really does help us a ton. All right, that's all. We'll see you guys in the next one.